If you're intrigued by the mysteries of the unknown, now you can investigate thousands on Discovery Plus. Stream exclusive originals plus a collection of favorites, all for just $4.99. Discovery Plus is the streaming home of paranormal, plus so much more. Start your free trial. Picture your favorite McDonald's breakfast sandwich. Maybe it's a sizzling sausage McMuffin served on a freshly toasted English muffin and the way its single slice of melty American cheese sticks oh so gently to the wrapper. Or is it a flaky sausage biscuit served on a warm buttermilk biscuit brushed with real butter that begs you to grab two napkins. Now picture your morning at McDonald's getting any two for just two dollars. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. It is an outrage. It is an absolute tyranny. It is an affront to our democracy, to everything that our founding fathers stood for, that our so-called president, elected fraudulently, Joe Biden, is in favor of granting bail to criminals, yet he plays no role in the fact that judges in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia in particular Clinton and Obama appointees are not granting bail for people that are at the Capitol simply peacefully, the pretext being, as they stated, these federal judges, these tyrannical federal judges, leftists of the highest order, that because President Trump still is claiming that he won, he's propagating the big lie, these people will be incited to violence, so they need to stay in prison, many of them in solitary confinement. This, in a nutshell, tells you everything. Couple it with the use of the FBI as Biden and Harris's and the left's own Gestapo, running people down who are in Washington, D.C., going to their friends, trying to get their friends to rat them out, that they were simply there. There were a couple bad people on both sides, but most people were good people. And this was the result, the natural result, of the rank corruption in all three branches of government, and in particular, the judicial branch. It was a warning shot across the bow that this country is going to explode. I don't want to see it explode. We want things to be resolved peacefully and legally. But you also see what's happening at school boards around the country, people pushing back. Finally, white people pushing back and other people pushing back with critical race theory, the fact that there are no sexes anymore. People are referred to, you know, gender, quote, neutral. Even Hollywood is in that game right now, destroying our Judeo-Christian culture, and our culture in general. And then it's time to talk out. The only people that speak out clearly are the black conservatives. Look at Miami Beach. No one ever mentions the fact that the crime on Miami Beach in Florida, my home state, where the idiot mayor just ended the curfew at 2 a.m., is primarily black crime. That's the reality. You know why black people get shot more than white people per capita? because per capita, they're committing more crimes. That needs to be said clearly. And now, of course, Biden is out there saying that we're going to eliminate crime by, in effect, limiting ownership of guns and doing all kinds of other things to abridge our Second Amendment rights. Not addressing the underlying issue, because he's getting down to the radical black left, the radical Marxian Jews on the left, the radical Muslims, the radical atheists, the radical LGBTQs, the radical feminists, all of them. And like I've said many times, most people in these groups are decent people, but the radicals are Bolsheviks. They're socialists, they're communists, they're atheists. They're basically inhabited by the devil. This country is being destroyed as we speak. And it's time that we rise up with our Third Continental Congress, go to freedomwatchusa.org, join our Third Continental Congress, and participate, as our founders said, when in the course of human events, the government no longer represents the American people. We have a right under the laws of nature and nature's God to alter or abolish that government and to form a new government by and for the people. We will do this peacefully on July 5th and July 6th at Independence Hall in the Visitor Center with a backdrop of Independence Hall. And we will vote, hopefully, because the delegates get to decide for themselves, it'll be open debate to take the Capitol back to Washington, D.C., take it out of the crime-infested swamp, the corrupt swamp of Washington, D.C. Let's start over again. And I believe 
The police and the military will support us. They've been much maligned. They've been persecuted as well by the tyranny of the left, by the Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who's more concerned with transgenders in the military than our troops and protecting our security, with the head of Homeland Security that's more concerned with letting illegals into this country so they can vote Democrat as they're brainwashed. Biden is their savior. They love Biden because Biden's allowing them to break the law. And you can go right down the list, whether it's pro-life, uh, it needs to be put into the Constitution. We need a Justice Department that's independent, not part of the executive branch. We need judges who are elected and accountable to the people, as Jefferson said. He was against Article Three federal judges because they're not accountable. And he predicted they would become despots and tyrants. And they're furthering the tyranny that's going on right now. And they're the primary cause of why the people rose up on January 5th of this year, because they saw that even Trump's own justices would not stand up for him at the Supreme Court, nor his lower court judges. They wouldn't even give him a hearing because they're part of the establishment. They're put in place with political campaign contributions and other bribes, and they're put forward by lobbyists on both sides, Democrat and Republican. And sometimes, even in a Republican administration like Trump, they put in a leftist judge is a trade-off to get one of their other judges in. Otherwise, the Democrats will block them. Without a judiciary that stands in the stead for the American people, we live in tyranny. And that's exactly where we lived in 1776, when King George III took our legal system back to England and had his rubber-stamped yes-men judges confirm everything that he did to tyrannize the colonies. And as I've said many, many times, King George III was Mother Teresa compared to Biden and Harris. King George III was not a socialist. He was not a communist. He was not a radical Muslim. He was not a member of the Marxian Jewish left. He was not a radical gay, lesbian, and transgender. He was not a radical atheist, and he was not a radical black. He wanted to tax the colonies heavily to pay for the rest of the empire. The colonies were extremely rich, and they understood they were being exploited. And when they pushed back at the Boston Common with the Tea Party and everything else, then the king cracked down, tried to take away their guns, took away their legal system. And then when hostilities broke out at Lexington and Concord in New York City, even before July 4th, 1776, the American people were in a revolution. But well, we are in a revolution now. Make no mistake about it. Those sunshine patriots and summer soldiers that can sit there drinking scotch, smoking a cigar, in retirement or otherwise, doing nothing, thinking it's all going to go away, are harming their kids, grandkids, and future generations. Our founding fathers were rich. Jefferson and Washington would be millionaires even today with inflation. They risked everything because they knew what was going to happen. They knew that we would ultimately live in a dictatorship. Ayn Rand, in her book, Atlas Shrug, predicted that. It's much worse than that. And it was someone named John Gall who gathered people, academia, scientists, lawyers, judges, everyone, to check out, to allow the left to destroy themselves. And then they came back to take control. Well, we don't have time to allow the left to destroy this country. Ayn Rand had everything right except the one solution. We have to rise up now. The left is evil. It's pure evil. The Democratic Party is pure evil. It's inhabited by the devil. And the Republicans are corrupt to the core, putting stuffy money into their pockets. How many emails do you get every day from them asking for more money? What have they done? They haven't done jack. They haven't reformed Obamacare. They haven't balanced the budget when they had control of the government. They didn't do anything. They could have supported Trump more with the border wall. That was lukewarm. Nothing happened. You got the judges that Trump put on the bench that betrayed him and betrayed everybody else. We need to rise up. We need a new government. We're not going to be pe we're not going to be hostile. We're peaceful. We have the right to declare it. It's right in the Declaration of Independence. It's, right, it's written in my book. It takes a revolution. Forget the scandal industry. You can get it at all major booksellers online and at freedomwatchusa.org with a contribution of $50 or more. Go to freedomwatchusa.org. Participate in our Third Continental Congress on July 5th and 6th. See what it's about. Join our Justice League. Get up off the couch. 
and get to work, or there'll be nothing left, not just for you, but your children, grandchildren, and future generations. That's my message for today. Remember that the Father and Son will only help those that help themselves. Otherwise, our government, our country is gone. We need a new government. We need a government by and for the people. God bless you. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me. Variety's Power of Pride Conversations, presented by iHeartMedia, celebrates LGBTQ plus changemakers who use their platforms to promote inclusion. Don't miss an exclusive chat with actress, producer, and activist Laverne Cox and iHeart Podcast Network CEO Connell Byrne as they discuss the upcoming podcast, The Laverne Cox Show. Plus, conversations with LGBTQ plus actors from across the industry. See it online Thursday, June 24th. Register now at Variety.com slash Pride Conversations. Attention foodies, Discovery Plus has what you're hungry for. With new original series and a supersized collection of favorites, Discovery Plus has the largest collection of food shows anywhere. With new exclusives like Bobby and Jada in Italy and Luda Can't Cook. The streaming service for everyone hungry for more. More cooking, more competition, more originals. All for only $4.99. Discovery Plus is the streaming home of food, plus so much more. Start your free trial. Trial.